Welcome to the Alpha Girl Confidence Podcast, where we are empowering youth female athletes to play and live confidently. My name is Shay Hatto, and each week I will bring you new episodes to teach you the strategies and tools that you need in order to live a confident, empowered life both on and off the playing field. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. So before we get into today's episode, you might have noticed that we have rebranded the show from Alpha Girl Soccer Podcast to the Alpha Girl Confidence Podcast. So since I started helping girls with their confidence and doing online confidence coaching, I knew that this was my true purpose and calling in life and that the stuff on this show can help girls that play any sport, not just soccer. So the topics and guests on the show will remain very similar, if not the same, So you're still going to get all the good stuff that the show has to offer, but just with a little bit different look and feel. All right, let's dive into today's show. So if you're human like the rest of us, then you probably struggle with striving striving for perfection too often. So I love this quote by Winston Churchill. I actually put it in my book because I loved it so much. And it is that perfection is the enemy of progress. So when you strive for perfection all the time, you're always going to end up being disappointed and frustrated and mad because there is no such thing as perfection. And I see this with the girls that I coach all the time and the girls that come in and and need coaching from me is that they're constantly striving to be perfect in school and their sport and baking a cake in whatever it is. And every single time, they feel let down, they feel like they're not good enough. But their problem is, is that they're striving to be perfect, which is unachievable. So instead of striving for for perfection, I want you to start striving for progress. So here are three different ways that you can strive for progress and stop striving for perfection. So number one is to celebrate your wins. So what I mean by that is the human mind, we tend to is more easily focus on the negative rather than the positive. So a lot of times, let's say you have practice and it's a decent practice, but instead of thinking about the good things that you did during that practice, you're constantly thinking about the bad stuff. And when you have the mindset of focusing more so on the negative than the positive, it becomes really hard to see the progress that you've made over time because you only see that it wasn't perfect. So number one is to celebrate your small wins. So to give you some really specific like action steps for this is every single night before you go to bed, write down a few things that you're proud of that you did that day. So it could be three big things, three little things, it doesn't matter. Just celebrate three positive things that you did that day, that whether it was just in your daily life, in school, in your sport, it doesn't matter. Okay, and number two is to set expectations for yourself that you have full control over. So what I mean by that is it's, it's great to set high expectations for yourself and, and strive to be the best and strive to do as good as you possibly can. But a lot of times we set expectations that we have no control over. So for example, like a goalkeeper, they may have the expectation that they want to get a shutout. Well, there's not, they can't always control that, right? Like if someone shoots the ball in the upper corner, I don't care who, who you are, you may not be able to save that goal. So set expectations for yourself, but make sure that those expectations are something that is fully within your control, right? So your attitude, your effort, your communication, stuff like that, right? How hard you study, how long you study, how long you practice on your own. So just make sure those, that those expectations are fully within your control or else you're constantly going to be disappointed that you didn't reach perfection and that you didn't reach the expectation that you set for yourself. And number three is to look at failure as an opportunity and as a something that you can reflect on and reassess and try again, right? You're going to fail in life way more than you might be successful, right? Think about it in terms of on the field, right? If you take 20 shots in a game, you're going to miss way more than you're going to make, right? Same thing in any other sport, right? In basketball, in volleyball and softball, right? Softball, you're gonna swing at it and miss way more than you're actually gonna make contact. And this is the same with school too. Like you're gonna fail, you're gonna miss up, you're gonna miss problems. But when you can look at that mistake and look at that failure and see it as an opportunity to get better, 
that's where you're going to see the most progress. That's where you're going to see growth, right? Not by striving per to, for perfection because you're going to be disappointed. You're going to give up. You're going to have a fixed mindset about it. But when you look at failure as an opportunity to reflect and to reassess, that's where the growth comes in. And that's where you're going to see progress. So again, recap, number one, okay, celebrate your wins. Number two is to set expectations for yourself that you have complete control over. And number three is look at failure as an opportunity to reassess and to begin again and again and again. There's an Abby Wombat quote where she says that. So if this episode helped you, please let me know. I know that this is a major, major problem with not just youth soccer players, but with everybody on this planet, right? So if this helped you, please let me know. Please let me know. Send me a DM on Instagram at Shea Hatto. And also if you need extra support, and extra help, we have space available in our Alpha Girl Confidence coaching program where we meet, we go through these topics. We have guest speakers come on. They're absolutely awesome. So if you want more information on that, I will post a link in the show notes below. And also at any time, if you have any questions or want to learn more about how I can help, send me a DM at Shea Hatto on Instagram, also on Facebook at Shea Hatto. All right, guys, thanks so much for listening and I'll catch you on next week's episode.